QD OLED Ultra Wide Gaming on the Alienware AW3423DW QD OLED monitor. Hi friends and welcome to Victor's Reality. Today I have the full version of my Days Gone video on this awesome QD OLED panel. Here with game sound so you can see how awesome this panel can distribute and showcase a 21 by 9 aspect ratio game. And the color, the vibrancy, and the awesomeness of this image. Now you all know Days Gone has a subdued color palette. It's not as vibrant as other games. We all know this. But any game with zombies is awesome. And this game is beautiful. And I'm just showcasing here today so you all can see the awesome look of 21 by 9 It does bring your games to life, of course, if the game supports it. But you know I'll be showcasing many games and applications on all my monitors, especially the beautiful display of this QD OLED panel. So far when I've been playing all my games, I've had no issues whatsoever with motion, with trails, with lag, with stutter, with judder, nothing of the sort. Everything is crystal clear and super smooth. Of course, if your GPU can handle it, the better the GPU, the higher the frames, the better your monitor can take advantage of all your hardware. But look at the colors, look at the black levels, the contrast, the brightness is there. This ain't no 200, 300 nits. It's brighter than that. I mean, you're not seeing a full white image, which would bring it down to 250-ish in nits power. As you can see, it's a lot of dark areas, caves, rocks, houses. So we're not getting a full 100% window. It could be a 50 to 75% window of white is what we're seeing. We're still getting above 300 nits. It's beautiful. It's vibrant with that RGB color. And if I would compare it to one of my monitors right now, just on a visual standpoint, easily the Odyssey G70A. I mean, it looks brighter. It looks as bright as the BenQ EX2510 or 2710, and just as bright as the Odyssey G70A IPS in a Lux panel. As the M28U just got a new update, and it's just that is way brighter than this QD OLED. If you all love the brightness of the G70A, or you find yourself turning it down because it's too bright, rated at 330 to 350 nits at a full 100% window, this is comparable, sometimes better because of the color and the contrast and that's the thing friends what i've been able to notice is that the g7 one of my favorite monitors 32 inch odyssey g7 monitor at 350 to 400 plus nits in sdr power with the highlights because it has local dimming i never thought i'd say this until the odyssey neo g8 comes out but i would prefer this qd oled over my odyssey g7 now i'm kind of a sentimentalist i would never trade in my odyssey g7 for any monitor not even for this one that's just me. When I buy something that I use constantly, that's why I always say I love my monitors because I don't want to part with them. If I don't use them, I put them in a good place. I protect them. I clean them because I'll always use them again in the future as I always use all my monitors in different rooms or situations. But I'm just trying to explain to you how I feel with this monitor so you can get an idea of how awesome and how really good this monitor really is. It's not all about numbers and aesthetics. It's how do you use your monitor is it beautiful? Does it really do what it says it's going to do? Does it give you awesome contrast, clear motion? And now with this QD OLED technology, the first on the market of TVs or panels, this is a game changer. This is the real deal. It's only going to get better from now on. And that's amazing as it's already good as of right now. But I have no complaints whatsoever other than a little bit more brightness, but it is a beautiful monitor. Playing all these games is so cool. And I will start live streaming in the future. So if you're interested in that, hit that subscribe button. And I will release in the community post all my socials. Because I will start streaming in a lot of places. And if you do want to see more of these kinds of videos, hit that subscribe button for the channel. Please hit that like so many more people can see this video. And be aware of all the technology that's out there. If you don't like OLED technology, that's not a problem. There's IPS, there's VA, there's TN still. And now regular OLED is throwing themselves in the mix because the 42 inch is a perfect size for PC monitor replacements. And that's what I'm going to be getting in the future. The more and better the technology, the better for everyone. So we can all make an awesome and informed buying decision. No one likes wasting their money. And I'm telling you, if you get this monitor, you're not going to waste your money. You're not going to feel like you wasted your money. Same thing with the LG 42 inch OLED C2 coming out very soon. You can buy that and you're not going to feel like you're wasting your money because it's going to be an awesome piece of technology, an awesome panel, because that isn't a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. 
so it's perfect for console gamers that this monitor unfortunately cannot provide. But still, 16x9 PC gaming is awesome also, especially with this OLED contrast and awesome pixel density of the 42 inches, it's going to be awesome for us PC gamers. So that's going to be fun to watch and see what they come up with and see how much LG has improved this year's C2 over the C1. But again friends, please see the playlist of this monitor or other monitors so it could help you make an awesome buying decision as I have many games and applications and I will be trying different things, different kinds of games. Thanks for watching friends. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, share, comment and subscribe as it truly helps the channel tremendously. Don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on a future QD OLED or regular OLED or a wide variety of monitors videos that I have here on the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Boozer, you there? I found the part. I'm heading out to the highway. Rippers. Boozer. Boozer, man. are dead symbols of a dead man. Dead symbols of the lost. Get off me! The bitches, biker man. You must be brought low, biker man. For you are lost, and we are found. We will show you. You are not one of the found. You are the lost. You are lost.
be brought in. Over here! You sons of bitches, get off him! Bruiser. I just want to kill them all. Bruiser. Every fucking one of them! Oh my god. Oh shit. Uh, let me help you up. No, I got this. No, no, you don't. Oh, get up. Uh, fucking rippers. You gotta go. It's like uh, they were waiting for me or something. Fuck. Uh, uh, I didn't see them and then, then they were on me. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Don't look at it. My god damn it. I'm serious. Don't look at it. My god. Don't look at it. Get on the bike. Oh, shit. Go, go.